so deep on. What? What the? Uh oh. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog, and today we're here back at Disneyland, but we're actually gonna be going to DCA because it's the start of the Lunar New Year event that they have, and there's gonna be a bunch of good food, and I cannot wait to try it. But I can also not wait to try it with a very special guest, and... What's up? Oh my god, already? So guys, D-Bond's actually going to be joining me for this uh, this vlog, and this is the first vlog that D-Bond's going to be joining since he got his new magic key. Yeah, finally Chris bought me one. Anyways, so D-Bond finally bought his own magic key, you know, because last time he blamed me that I didn't call him, but I, I called him. He did call me, he calls me, and then I was like, oh, uh -oh. so I got it, got it, it got, got it. it. <laughs> so D-Bond's going to join me. Uh, so guys, this is DJ D-Bond. You guys can follow him on uh, Instagram, at DJ D-Bond, also on Twitch. Uh, but Devon, it's the first time giving me a vlog. Are you excited for that? I'm excited. I've never actually had the food here from the Lunar. Lunar? Lunar, you Lunar. <laughs> I also like how I asked you, are you excited for the vlog? You're like, yeah, I've never actually had the food. Anyways, guys, so I'm excited for the food. You're excited for the food. <laughs> and if you guys are excited for the food, make sure to slap that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and let's get ready for a Disney food filled day. So as the day of us filming this, the 100 Years of Wonder, it's the week of. Things are going to be kicking off for that starting this week. And I'm super excited about it. There's a lot of cool things that are coming on this channel to show you guys. Uh, but right now we're gonna go and get inside so we can get this food. You can always count on Debon to somehow uh -oh. f it up. <laughs> Debon literally can't even get in with his magic key. Imagine. Imagine. Look how happy Debon is right now. Debon's so happy, pointing at the, uh, the, the the arches, the Lunar New Year arches. Debon, why are you walking so fast? Oh, sorry. God. I'm that excited. Okay. Let, let's calm down. Okay. Let's calm down. Let's relax. You know, like it's like the first time you ever got a chicken cheese as a kid. That's how it feels like right now. You. Okay. So we just picked up the Sip and Saver Pass for this year's Lunar New Year. It comes with a total of six tabs. Normally, you know, with the other ones, it comes with eight, so we got two more on the bottom. But for these ones, it's only six. And they're 42 bucks for Magic Key holders and 45 for non-Magic Key holders. And we're actually going to be picking up some stuff here at the first booth, which is the Bamboo Blessings. And it's going to be the Mickey-shaped hot dog bun, as well as one of the beers. d wants to grab one of the beers, so let's go ahead and get that right now. Here's another close-up of the Mickey shape hot dog bun so it's got like five weenies which you know it's just kind of stuffed in there don't be making that face <laughs> don't be making that face the only thing is normally I would say this tastes better with mustard because it's normally a little dry so I think I'm gonna go grab you some mustard because you might need it ketchup yeah I don't know if they have ketchup but I, I'll, I'll look okay I'll look but uh, I'm excited to see what that tastes like because that's a mango foam on top I'm gonna tell you right now like some of the foam like dripped on my finger and I like licked it and it's like it was icy and I was like, why the why the hell do you give me so much foam? But now I know why. Yeah, because it tastes good? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, I just had a little sip. A little sippy whippy? A little sippy whippy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all, we are all sliced up. I went ahead and I got, I actually found some ketchup and I found the mustard. But Deepon, I want you to try it without any condiments and then you can put some condiments on it. Without any what? Con I knew it. Condiments. Debon. So Debon got a little bit of the it's weenie. It's a little dry, it's a little dry. The, the bread is dry. The weenie is like very juicy. That's what she said. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of mustard. So you said to try with the mustard, so I will dip, I'll try with the mustard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's literally just gonna taste like a, like a, a hot dog. And everybody knows Debon loves glizzies. He's the glizzy king over here. Every time we go out, that's all I get. Yeah, he swallows them whole. What? So I paid for a gourmet hot dog. Yes, technically you did. So Debon, uh, before you start digging into the other piece that you have here, what would you give it? Would you give it a slap? A slap? I, uh, yeah, this is a good, good, good treat. Okay, good this is how you know D1 doesn't watch my videos. D1, when you say you give it a slap, you gotta give it a slap. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, taste the beer. Tell me what the beer's like. Again, so that's a uh, that's uh, mango foam on top. So yeah, mango foam is the beer, and this foam is like very thick with like eight C's. Eight? Eight. Look, 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 look. It's like frozen. Yeah, it's like ice foam. Yeah. Can you please take a sip? The foam? Mm, Jesus delicious. Christ. <laughs> what? The foam is like sweet, but well, not too sweet. But it's like just like just right. I could just eat the foam all day. Okay. Well, I, I mean, do you taste the beer at all? I cannot sometimes do because I'm sipping the foam, but I can't get any beer yet. Oh, okay, okay. So with the foam, you taste the mango, but when it gets the beer part and the foam, it kind of like levels out. You don't really taste much, but you still get the buzz, I'm assuming. And hopefully. 
Okay, Deepon, so would you recommend this, yes or no? I'd recommend it. Would you give it a slap? I'd give it a <laughs> Thank you, Deepon. All right, y'all, gonna go ahead and give it my shot now. I know what this is all about. I've had this several years from the past. Did you just dunk it into the... Yeah, don't do that. Oh my God. Don't do that, you guys. <laughs> do not do that. Anyways, like I was saying, I've had this many a times. Uh, that nothing's changed for the recipe, so I already know it's gonna be a little bit dry, but I'm still gonna have it without the ketchup and the mustard, and I'm gonna have it with it. So here we go. Nothing crazy, just some bread and weenie. No pause. The one thing I, I, that I wanna say is, I feel when you have a bite of this, you have to have some of the hot dog with the bread, because if you don't, it's not gonna, it's just gonna be nothing but dry bread. Now that I put the, like, the condiments on it, obviously it's gonna taste a little bit better, and you can go straight bread with no condiments, but it kinda sucks that the bread is just so kinda plain by itself. I feel like it needs a little bit more seasoning. Uh, Debon said if it had a little bit of garlic on it, that'd be good. I mean, it looks like it's got seasoning on top, but it definitely doesn't have any of that. So I'm gonna put some of the mustard on that, I'm gonna put some of the ketchup, and we're gonna try it again. Okay, I think that's a pretty good glob of both ketchup and mustard. Debon looks like he, he approves, so let's do it. Yeah, with the, with the ketchup and mustard, thousand times better. I, I, I would highly suggest it, so when you go and you pick it up from this spot, just ask them for some condiments, they'll give you some ketchup and some mustard. Is it a slap? Yeah, you know, it's a very simple, very, very basic slap, but it's still a slap. I, I know there's gonna be better things for us to try, so I'm glad that we kind of like are starting here and we're gonna go up from here. But all I know is, I'm still hungry, I'm ready for more, but before we go anywhere, I gotta try that beer. Here we go, let's go ahead and give this beer a shot. Dude, that is bomb. It's good, right? That is incredible. I wish they had this on the regular. I don't wanna drink more of it because this is your beer and I want you to enjoy it, but. That is delicious. I really do enjoy that mango uh, topping. You do have to drink a little bit past it to get to the beer, but I feel like once you get to the beer, it just all kind of like sits well together. I would say that's definitely a slap. I would get that again. And- uh, Just don't dip the hot dog in here. Yeah, just don't, don't, don't dip the bread inside the, the beer. Just don't do that. But on to the next one. We're over here at the Wrap With Love booth and we're gonna be getting some shrimp and pork wontons as well as some like bok choy and mushroom dumplings. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then Debon said he wants to get like some Malibu drink. Oh yeah, it looks really delicious. I mean, we'll see. I mean, that one was good, man, so we'll see if it's better. So that right there is the pork and shrimp wontons with black garlic sauce, and then right below that is the bok choy and mushroom dumplings. And I think for the drink, he's gonna get, which one is Malibu? And now that I take a closer look at this, uh, neither of those are Malibu. It's just a pineapple, I don't even know what that word is. Baiju? Pronounce it, pronounce it. Baiju? By, by we, the pineapple drink, okay? We're gonna get the pineapple drink, all right? Devon, damn it. Okay, all right, so, guys, so this guy screwed over. Uh, this guy screwed up. This guy screwed over. This guy real, screwed real up. Nice, Devon. <laughs> so, uh, there was a miscommunication between- No, there was not. I specifically told you what to do. So there was, you decided to do something else. There was a misinterpretation on my part. Yes. Me and Devon actually ordered the same items from the same booth. We got both the shrimp uh, wontons, wontons. And they're actually out of them right now, so we're gonna have to come back and get those. And then we're also gonna have to come back and order the bok choys, because we, none of us order that. Nah. So, so it's cool. Oh, they, 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 they marked your drink. No, I told them I'll come back for it later. Okay, okay. Mark on my thing, and then they put Nat you. So a big shout out to Natalie for uh, being awesome. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get stuff from other booths now, so we can go ahead and show you guys what we're gonna get. And then we're gonna go ahead and go back over there to get the wontons, the dumplings, and the drink. What was the drink called? Not Malibu. Not Malibu. So. No, was, I'm asking, what is it called? I don't fucking know. <laughs> the pineapple one. Yeah, the pineapple the one. The pineapple one. Since we couldn't get the other stuff, we're gonna be getting over to the Red Dragon Spice Traders. And here they have some spicy chicken bites, as well as an elote. And Devon's also gonna get this guava drink. So this is the Red Spice Fried Chicken Bites. This is the elote right here. And then this is the guava cocktail. So we're gonna try those three right now and we'll let you guys know what we think. Here we go, y'all. These are the spicy chicken bites right here, which look really, really good. I was walking by somebody and they said they're really, really delicious, but they got a really like, big kick. d is a fan of spice anyway, so I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. No, uh -oh. Some no, no. Gonna... Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean you're not a fan of spice? Oh, ever since I did that peanut challenge that Papa Chava recommended us to do, uh huh. and I was naked in your bathroom. Yeah, there's gonna be a little emote right here. I'll show you guys. That's literally Debon naked in my bathroom. All he's wearing is a towel. But anyways, Debon is a fan of spice. 
but we also got this elote. I have no idea what to expect with this elote, but Devon said that it actually smells really good. It's, it smells delicious. And then we got the guava drink right there, so we're... Oh, yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and... What the f uh oh I'm in heaven, bro. Oh, because I'm here? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna well, go we're back. But... All right, can I just not take over the show? No. All right, we're it's back, not the Bonbon show, Devon. <laughs> that is true. It does not say that out there. We are gonna go ahead and start with the chicken first. Make sure you get some of the the green onions and the sesame seeds on there. Like that. There, I got plenty right there. Ooh, okay. Well, that looks delicious. Yeah. All right, cheers, Devon. Cheers. <laughs> Just repeat that while you're at it too. That's actually very good. What kind of co what cocktail is it? It's a guava whiskey cocktail, you guys. Guava whiskey. That's good? That's delicious. Yeah? Instantly made Hold that. On. Let me make sure I'm drinking it from the same spot you were drinking out of it. Huh? Drink it out of the straw. But what if I want I want to drink it from the same spot you were drinking out of it? Oh my god. This is this is why D-Bond is not part of my vlogs, guys. This is exactly the reason why. Oh wow. It's delicious. It's like not even it's the perfect amount of sweet. Aside from me choking to death over here on the corner, it's a very delicious piece of food. I I really do like the chicken. Uh, again, I just, I, you know, when you just, you swallow something down the wrong pipe, it just, you know, don't look at me like that. It just hits the wrong place and it makes you cough. That's exactly what happened to me. But it's a slap, I loved it. I think we gotta go ahead and dig into this elote though, for sure. This is the elote? The elote looks great. Yeah, it looks good. Let me, let, me take, let me take a sniff of this, because you said it smelled good. Take a whip. Whip it, whip it up. <laughs> whip it up. Wait, don't choke on it, don't choke on it. Don't inhale it in the wrong pipe. <laughs> no, it smells good. Um, the the, the uh, cheese on that smells really, really good too. Yeah. Is this thing that has like some, it has cheese, it has like black pepper, there's red sauce, just looks amazing, you guys. Red sauce. There's red sauce. <laughs> you ready? I am not, what is this, Lady and the Tramp? Then we're gonna do it together. No, we're not. Eat the damn elote. This is really good. I like it. It makes me feel like I'm back in the hood. That kind of elote? This is what it is. It's literally what it is, dude. That's really good. I wouldn't say it reminds me of elote at, 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 like in the hood, though. The sauce on there is more, like, robust. Like, it's got more oomph to it. You know, like, I'm used to, like, tapatio, maybe some tajin. Okay, okay. What kind of hood do you see the elote man uh -oh. okay, putting tapatio on the elote? What do you mean? People put tapatios on their elotes? Really? That's yeah. The thing? In the hood? Like the elote man carries tapatio and puts tapatio on your elote. How do you order your elote? Con todo? Bruh. <laughs> some people like the chili powder. Yeah, that's what I get it with, the chili powder. But some people like it extra hot and they put the tapatio on top. <laughs> so you've been to an elote man. That has tapatio out of his back pocket and pours it right there on top of the chili Homie, powder. Homie, this guy is walking around with a, a, a cart the whole day with mayonnaise in there. You think he's not gonna have tapatio? Hey, if it's the hood, he ain't gonna have tapatio. No, people literally have tapatios in their purse. That is a fact. It, this is more like a gourmet elote to me. Okay. More gourmet than it is hood tapatio. Or I mean hood, hood, hood elote. Back to the chicken. Things really good. I need to get another bite of this because the first one took me out. Oh my god. This one's really crunchy as far. It's really crunchy and juicy. Mmm. Touch. Turn the music, turn the volume up. You hear the crunchiness. Mmm. Not gonna be able to hear that, dog. No, this chicken is a very, very good. Like I said, it's got a little kick to it, but it's not overbearing. It's really, really nice. That sauce actually has a little kick to it too. I don't know if you tasted that. Yeah, it is. But oh yeah, it's really good. Yeah, thanks, Devon. Appreciate the the mental picture that you just gave me. I got a question for you. Yeah. Do you prefer corn on the cob, or do you prefer corn off the cob? Okay, skip there. It has to be on the cob. Even though I don't like it when it gets stuck to my teeth, it just tastes way better on the cob. It's like juicy, you get a suck on the, right here. You wanna do it? <laughs> suck on the what? No, no, no. The core, I don't know what it's called. The core. All right, so all in all, the elote, slap for me. The chicken, slap for me. The guava drink, slap for me. Ivan? It's all, it's a triple slap. I like that triple slap. All right, now on to the next one. So, D-Bun. What? 
What the? Uh oh. <clears throat> I was gonna ask if you get it again, but the way you're deep throwing that, my God. I just I was sucking all the juice out of it. Yeah, you were. <laughs> Next up is the Prosperity Bow and Buns booth, and over here we have the Pepperoni Pizza Bow Bun and the Char Su Barbecue Pork Bow. And I think those are the only two that we're getting from here. I don't know if people are going to be grabbing any drinks, but we're definitely grabbing these two. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Pizza Bow Bun. This is a big boy. Look at like look at my hand. Like that's a big boy. And they give you a small hand. Can you? Oh God, what are you going to give me? A knuckle sandwich? Anyways. They give you a lot of mozzarella sauce too, but the mozzarella sauce is cold, so it's kind of like messing up the ratio between like the warm bun and the cold sauce. But anyways, D1 also got the barbecue pork bao as well, and that was a taco. It's not a uh -oh. taco, D1. It's a bao. It's a bao. No, oh my God. So we're gonna we're gonna try these, and we'll let you guys know what we think. All right, y'all. We're gonna go ahead and try the pizza bao bun. Mine's got a. Plenty of marinara on the bottom. Do you want more marinara? Yeah, let me yeah. dip it. Yeah, Ben, get it, get as much as dipped as you want. When you dip, we dip. All right, get your dippy, dippy dip. Ooh, Cheers, man. That. Here we go. I'm gonna be perfectly honest. I don't know how this has to do with pizza. Baobun has anything to do with Lunar New Year and like Asian celebration? Because pizza is not like an Asian dish. It's more like an Italian thing. I think the goal is to introduce new things to us Westerners. 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 Us you, Westerners? <laughs> you know, us Westerners, sometimes we want a little pizza and a bow bun. That's all we gotta eat sometimes, you know? Yeehaw. The best way I can describe this, you guys, is, uh, you know those pizza Lunchables? That's what it tastes like. It's a, I like it, I like pizza Lunchables. <laughs> but legit, this is what it tastes like. It's a, I don't know if you guys would, would do this, but this is what I would do. When I was younger, I would build my pizza, stick it in the microwave for like 10, 15 seconds, let the cheese <laughs> melt, and then you start eating it like that. That's exactly <laughs> what it tastes like. In my opinion, it tastes like a gourmet hot pocket. Let me tell you why. Normally, a hot pocket is a little bit like on the uh -oh. side when it comes to like the bread. This bread, the bao bread, is way better. I don't know. So you're saying it burns the roof, the roof of your mouth? No, no. I mean, listen. I know not to eat a hot pocket when it's like fresh out the microwave. Apparently, you do not do that. You're just like. <laughs> Regardless, both good. I'm gonna give it a slap. D1. D1 giving it a slap too. We got one more thing to try from this spot, and then we're gonna go ahead and grab. I think three other items. All right. Well, let's try this. Uh, this pork bao bun. Chris being a uh -oh. she doesn't want to try the jalapenos from here. Okay. That was hot, huh? <laughs> Look at his face! <laughs> you son of a uh -oh. You tried to act all tough. <laughs> you look like you're gonna cry. I'm not crying. You're crying. <laughs> this is the cross section. Yep. Uh oh. This is the cross section of what this looks like. Lots of uh, barbecue pork in here. And I've had this before, it's delicious. Devon, I really want to know what you think about it because I don't think you've ever had something like this before. So I would love to hear your opinion, but cheers, y'all. I'm gonna let the Mexican come out of me. And legit tastes like a taco de tinga, which is really good. Like what kind of tinga, though? Tinga tu madre. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> never, never heard jokes before. Devon's never had a good joke like that in his life. That was like the one and only he's ever gonna have. Oh my god. Devon's a madre. That would be a shirt. I've only had chicken tinga. So, have you had like tinga that's like pork? Res. Mmm. Okay, okay. Delicious. Yeah. Delicious. The, the, the bun was nice and fluffy. The uh, barbecue pork had a little bit of sweetness to it. The pickled onions was literally oh, like... Oh, pickled onions made it. Yeah, for sure. I Obviously, I didn't get any jalapeno because Lord knows what happened to me earlier, but I tasted a little bit of the spice because it kind of like left over from having it on there. Are you really sucking your fingers on camera? It's finger looking good. This isn't KFC, dog. But all in all, that is a slap for me. I love that. That is delicious. Slap for D-Bon. These, these two items from this spot, can't go wrong. Literally can't go wrong. Literally right across from the Ferris wheel. Not Ferris wheel? Yeah, yeah, it's the Ferris wheel. Okay. <laughs> you just looked at me all weird. I was like, you said it wrong. I mean, I wasn't expecting to... to <laughs> I wasn't expecting to talk about the geographical location of where the, the thing is. 
I want people to know where, where it's gonna be at. It's right in front of Ariel, okay? Right in front of Ariel. It's right in front of Daddy Triton, literally. Yeah. <laughs> no, literally, right underneath it. Yes. But, on to some more good food, let's go. Next on our list for food is the Longevity Noodle Co. And for those of you who have been at this YouTube page, as well as those who have followed me for a while, you guys know that this one is usually the most busiest booth on the weekends. Normally, this line for pickup goes all the way around like the edge where like where the color is. But luckily, it's not too crazy. And then the order area is not too crazy either. But we're gonna be getting both sets of noodles, which is gonna be the garlic noodles and the spicy pork dan dan noodles. And I really hope I said it. it's either Dan Dan or Don Don, but that's them right there. Garlic noodles, spicy pork noodles. You're gonna be getting those both right there. And here it is, y'all. This is the spicy noodles right here. That's the Don Don or the Dan Dan, which, whichever one it is. The Bam Bam? The, no, Dan Dan or Bon. Not the Bon Bon. Oh. It's either the Dan Dan or the Don Don. And then these are the garlic noodles. You can smell the garlic from here. Can you smell it? Smell your screen right now. Just take a big whiff. Whiffometer. What's the whiffometer say? <laughs> the whiffometer. All right, we're gonna go ahead and dig into these noodles, guys. We're almost done with all our tabs. Actually, I'm finished with all my tabs. Demon has two more. There's technically. Technically, uh, wow. It had to happen. It just had to happen. Devon's never really experienced it, but <laughs> they're everywhere. <laughs> But uh, we have a couple more items to choose. We also have a couple more items on our receipt that we need to finish too. Yeah, we just got these nudes, so, uh, so we're really excited for them. Let's dig into these nudes. You wanna start with the spicy one or the garlic one? Wanna talk about it? Uh, I don't know. I don't know where to start because if I feel like if I eat the spicy one, my mouth's gonna be burning. So when I try the garlic one, my, my taste buds are gonna be dead, fried. So, but if I try the garlic one and then the spicy one, I feel like my mouth's gonna be all garlicky and everything gonna taste like garlic. Why do you have to make it so fucking difficult? Just, what do you want to try first? Spicy. Okay, spicy it is. This garlic noodle dish reminds me of a place called Nguyen's Kitchen, which is in Orange County. It's in Santa Ana. They have delicious. Santa Ana is Orange County? Yes, P1. I had no idea. I had no, no idea I went that far. Like in the loop. Like, kind of like curved and like skip the way. <laughs> Santa Ana is south. This is Santa Monica, my bad. So anyways, so these garlic noodles, right? So it reminds me of this place called Nguyen's Kitchen, which is in Santa Ana. And they have literally some delicious garlic noodles. Super, super good. And this is like bringing me back to that because I love ordering from there. So cheers, Dibon. Cheers. Good luck, man. These are mad garlicky. If you're planning on coming with your lady, don't Ooh. get these because you're going to have some nasty breath. Hey, if she's really your lady, she really loves you, she's still, she only goes, uh-oh. I'll take that back, take that back. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, man, if I if I brought my girl I to come, kiss her. Yeah, if I brought my girl here and she had these, I'd be like, let me that's, get a you, no, that's a no for me, dog. Let, let me get you some gum, baby. Let me help you out. <laughs> Based off of your, your bites here, what would you give that? A slap? I would give that a slap, you guys. Alright, for sure. It, it, it is spicy. I do not drink something spicy like a michelada with that. Just keep it two separate things. Is it spicier than the than the chicken? It is spicier than the chicken, yeah. Okay. It is well, spicier than the chicken. I already got a scoop ready for me, so I'm not gonna bitch out Get that out onion now. too, get that onion. <laughs> Great. Ooh, show them, show them. That's a mouthful right there. Look at that, look at that. Nothing but, nothing but deliciousness. Um, I hope you enjoy that. Just know it's very garlicky. You're gonna get a lot of garlic in that. I feel like these two mixed together will go good. So the spicy noodles are definitely have a kick to them. I don't think... Mixing them together, you guys. I don't think they're as spicy as the chicken. I feel like the chicken was a little bit more spicy for me but they definitely have a kick to them. Which one do you taste more if you do the combo? Tastes like the garlic, but not overpowering, yet you get a little kick to it. Okay. Try it out, try it out. High key, the table is a mess. There's literally noodles everywhere. I think that was on me. Yeah, I, w I didn't want to say it, but yeah. <laughs> Ultimately, I want to say the garlic noodles are my favorite. Mine are the spicy ones. And Devon likes the spicy ones. They're they're both great in their own, you know, different aspects. Like if you like spicy and you like noodles, perfect. If you like garlic and you like noodles, perfect. If you like them both, get them both and mix them. They're yeah, they're delicious. That's a good one. Yeah, they're delicious. Just make sure you understand there's a little bit of a kick with those spicy ones. But I want to say again, I don't think it's as spicy as those chicken bites. All in all, slap for me for both. Devon. Yeah. Devon and I made it back to Wrap With Love to grab our dumplings as well as our wontons in the black garlic sauce. And Devon got his non-Malibu 
uh, pineapple drink. Oh. What is that thing on there? Is, is that a dragon fruit? It looks like it. Dang. <laughs> so they like the, the best looking drink. Yeah, it looks really good. So we're gonna go ahead and try these and we're gonna let you guys know what we think. I haven't really heard too many great things about these, but you guys know us. We're gonna try it, we're gonna tell you if they're good or not, we're gonna be honest. And we're gonna let you know if it's a slap or not. Devon is gonna go ahead and dig into these items first. Devon, which one are you trying first, man? I'm gonna try the pork and shrimp wonton. Cameras over here. Cameras over here. Oh, sorry, it's just the other cards, man. The cards are going crazy. <laughs> All right, you want to try the pork and shrimp wonton? Yeah. All right. Do you, you know how to use chopsticks? You think that's how you use it in the Aristocats? You've seen the Aristocats? Yeah, bro. I'm okay. What's the white cat's name? Uh, Mary. Uh, one more time. Marlene? What? Something with the E at the end? <laughs> Ma Maria? M Maria doesn't have Marie? an E at the end. Mar is, is it Marie? Yes, it's Marie. See? You're messing with me. You're just shocked. <laughs> all right, dig in. My insides are all warm now. It's yeah. cold out here. I eat that. I'm all warm. I say I'm warm and fuzzy. Yeah, I mean, are it's you really warm? good. Are you warm because the food is hot or? Yeah, it's warm. It's a warm food. Okay. It's good. Um, is it because it makes you feel good inside? Is that why? Definitely. Oh, okay, okay. It's like, it's like a whole experience, especially with the music all around. Uh-huh. Oh, man, this... I don't think it would taste the same without this. It, it's not going to taste the same without chopsticks. Exactly. How, how is it not going to taste <laughs> the same without chopsticks? Because when you dip it on the sausage, you can, like, lick the chopsticks and you still get a little taste of it on there. Does anybody, anybody know what I'm talking about? I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that does that. If you guys know what Devon's talking about, please put a comment down in this section. Like we need to, we need to try to understand Devon's head. It's like, what is going on in this guy's head? <laughs> you get him a slap, or what do you think? It's a slap. It's yeah? a slap. I can taste the pork. I can taste the shrimp. It's like fishy. I don't know. It kind of reminds me of like a dumpling from like Dinsai Funk, to be honest. Oh, and th those are good. Yeah, they're good. Those are good. Yeah. Okay. That's the best way to describe it. All right. Well, I want you to try this one now. And you let me know what you think about that. So bok choy and mushroom. I've never had bok choy before. I didn't know what bok choy was until I played Plants vs. Zombies. I, I know that now. But I played a game called Plants vs. Zombies and there was a bok choy. Is it a different sauce? No, they're the same. Okay. Uh, character in there. So let's hope that it's good because, I, like I said, I've only not really heard great things about this one. Really? Yeah, but we'll see. Not everybody has you the same. Can you have me be a test dummy? Uh-huh, 100%. Uh -huh. I do not recommend this one at all. No, it, it's really not that good. <gasps> you're gonna, oh, no way, you're gonna spit it out. All right, Chris, let us know. Yeah, it's like, it's got a little water sack coming down. They just tore it up. What, oh, I see that face, that face right there. <laughs> I wasn't kidding. Like, look, look, there's the inside. Can you see the inside? I can see it the, perfectly The good. inside literally tastes just as good as it looks. Grass? Yeah, grass and, and twigs and berries. Minus the berries, so. That's a no for me. Uh uh. I have never had anything that bad. You know what? It's, we're bound to have one L in all, in all the food that we tried. There has to be at least one L, and we found it. The only time I've ever done that before was when I had hígado. What is that? That's uh, Spanish for liver. Oh yeah, I'm not down for that. All right, let's try this shrimp and pork Ooh. wonton. I'm so glad I did what I did. I am so glad that I did this one last because my god is that good you're right you do taste the shrimp you do taste the pork everything is just so like wrapped up in a perfect little ball the garlic uh, sauce it's okay it's like whatever it was garlic sauce I thought it was fishy sauce like fish sauce no it's black garlic sauce oh okay it doesn't really do much for me but without a doubt skip on the bok choy mushroom dumplings do not get these I'm sorry if anybody else likes them I'm happy for you but no it means they like ass <laughs> but I highly suggest that you get the pork and shrimp dumplings or the wontons I'm sorry those ones are a thousand times better and I'm very glad that I ended my night with that but actually no we still have to go with the macaron right and the quesadilla egg, egg roll and then we still have one more ticket extra yeah so we gotta figure out what else we're gonna get but as far as between those two get the uh, get the other one forgot about the drink we're gonna do a little mixy mix real quick what is that right there? That's that passion fruit, right? Let me see that passion fruit. I don't know if it's passion fruit. I don't know what it is. Dude. Dragon fruit? I think it's dragon fruit. All right. But this is the pineapple drink. That's dangerous, bro. I taste no alcohol. It tastes like juice. Let me see. Let me it literally that. tastes like straight 
like pineapple, like maybe like a little dash of mango juice. That's a slap. Keep on starting to try the drink. Keep going hella mixing in over there. Hey, you know what you should do? You should take a bite out of this. You should see what it's like. Take a bite of that first. Why did you lick it like that? You know what? To be honest, I wouldn't be able to tell you what it is. It, is it sweet? It is sweet. Okay. A little tangy. It, it looks like dragon fruit, to be honest. It looks like that. I've had a dragon fruit beverages. I've never actually had a dragon fruit. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's why I can't tell. Got it. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> so, Devon, would you give that drink a slap or what? Definitely slap. All right, all right. We finally found the Lucky 8 Lantern. For some reason, we couldn't figure this out, but it was actually right here next to Grizzly. And we're gonna be picking up the Quesa Berria Egg Roll with, I don't even know how to say that word, uh, Pepper Consume. We're gonna be getting that right there. And here it is. This is a pretty hefty looking egg roll. It only comes with one, which is kind of a bummer, but we're gonna try it. We'll let you know what we think. We're gonna split it in half and we're gonna share it too. Now, a change of events. Uh, we were trying to get the macaron, but unfortunately they're sold out for the night. So yeah. Still got one more tab though. Still one more tab, but Devon's gonna be coming another day so he can try getting something else himself. But he ended up getting this, which is the Mandarin Moose Cake. I don't know why, but he said he was down. For yeah. some reason. I need dessert. Did he need something sweet? Except for you, other than besides you. It would have been a great joke if he didn't stutter, but it's fine, you know, it's, it's cool. But we're gonna try them both. I have a speech you... impediment. Don't lie, why are you gonna lie to the people? We're gonna let you guys know what we think about both of these. There, I think that's a pretty good split right there. I don't know if you guys can see the steam or not. You might be able to see the steam. But this looks delicious. What's, um, what's that sauce? What's that dipping sauce? That's consume. God, that's consume. It's, it's like quesabiria, like consume. Not consume, consume. Consume. Come to you? Yeah, come to me. <laughs> okay, what did you call it here? Lunar, the lu Lunar <laughs> New Year? All right, let's get a little dippy dip on, on the consume. Right off the bat, the egg roll is not crunchy. It's pretty soggy. The meat inside tastes pretty tasty. It's a fat egg roll too. Yeah, it's very, very large. Do you taste mm. any cheese? No. Okay, so one of my friends told me that she tried it and she didn't taste any of the cheese. I don't know how much cheese is supposed to be in here, but if it's a queso birria, I'm expecting cheese as well as a birria. It's not bad. I'm not like super happy about it. I'm kind of like whatever. I'm like on the fence about it. What do you think, Dibon? It's good. Just know if you are in a dilemma where you do not have enough tickets to buy everything, um, and this is one of the options versus a shrimp and pork wontons, you go with the pork and shrimp wontons, you guys. Definitely. I like that advice. And plus you only get one. And this is nine dollars. That is a nine dollar egg roll. If you're not if you're not using a tab. Wow. Yeah. It's not worth nine bucks. Definitely not. I feel like it's barely worth a tab to be honest. As far as taste, it's like a like a, like a not a not a slap, more like a eh, like a, you know? Way better than the than the bok choy. Anything is better than that, bro. I could have licked the floor and it would have been better than that. God. All right, let's get to this mandarin cake. Mm -mm. I forgot about that. Did you get a fork? How are we supposed to eat it? We'll be right back. Devon finally went and found forks and, and a floor. And <laughs> forks and a knife. So Devon, go ahead and uh, split the uh, mandarin cake. I want to show how beautiful it is. I'm going to give you a, uh, a heads up. Yeah. I'm not a fan of cake at all, no matter Neither what. Neither am is. I. Just know that if I try this and I'm not a fan, don't get offended. That's oh, not, damn. That's super like custody. All right, here we go, guys. Nice big scoop. Oh, look at that. Oh, that filling. Yeah, you got a way bigger piece than I did. So, and whose fault is that? Yours. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Very sweet. It's tangy. It's like. It tastes, it tastes like an orange. Do you feel like it's like kind of like tingling? Because it's so sweet? No, it's just, I don't know. It's like a tangy, tingling. It's like. I don't know. It just feels a little tangy. What a great description, Devon. You guys ever had that uh, that orange ice cream with the with the white filling inside? Creamsicle. There you go, creamsicle. This is what it is. Cake I, form. I, don't know, I don't know if I get creamsicle vibes from that. Mm -hmm. It just tastes like a. It just tastes like an a orange cake or orange mousse. That's what it is. I think it's just orange mousse, and I'm not really a fan. I'm, I'm glad you're enjoying it, Devon. I love I'm it. I'm very happy that you're enjoying it. I love it. You're gonna eat the rest of that by yourself. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. You're very much <laughs> you're welcome. You're so kind. All right, we're back. The stem? It's a pretzel, you guys. 
pretzel. It was not a pretzel. It was, it was chocolate. Yeah. It was just chocolate. Yeah, it was just chocolate. All right, guys, we are all done with all the food that we've tried today. I am in an, an I'm in a freaking food coma right now. You are. I'm not. I, I am. I still keep on eating. Devon wants to go run around and do jumpy jacks in the middle of Buena Vista Street, and I'm. I just want to go home and take a nap. But I had a great time today. The food that we had today was delicious for the most part. Except for one item. Except for that bok choy. That was trash. That chop choy. Ab ab absolutely trash. That chop choy. What chop choy? Chop it out. Chop it off the menu. Chop it off the menu. <laughs> All right. That's a new one from Devo. <laughs> chop it off the menu, apparently. No, but uh, everything was great. Uh, like I said, uh, we wanted to give you guys a very honest and I guess in this case brutal opinion about the food because we rather be honest with you guys and let you guys know what we think is good versus what isn't really good. I know we were kind of talking a lot oh. about the bok choy, but <laughs> no, being honest, it's that one's like that one deserves like getting ran through the dirt because it probably would taste better through the day anyway. <laughs> but he said earlier he would rather lick the floor and that would taste 100%, better. 100%, man. Like it's, ugh, it just was not the business. But regardless, great time, Debon. Thank you so much for joining me on this vlog. I hope yeah. you had fun. I think uh, I think if you guys want to see Debon in more vlogs, you guys got to let me know with a comment down below. That's if you guys want to. Yeah, if you guys want Debon in more vlogs, say hashtag we want Debon in the comment section below. If you guys don't want Debon, say hashtag we don't want Debon. <laughs> no, I'm just playing around. Uh, what was your favorite thing that you had today? My favorite thing that I had today. Why are you repeating what I just asked you? Because I am. I'm using it to build time for me to think. <laughs> I would have to say the elote, you guys. It was really good. Really? Oh, I mean, the way you were just going to town on that core, bro. <laughs> God damn. The porn on the cob, you guys. The uh, porn I mean, on the cob is more like it. <laughs> no, the, the elote was good. Um, and the chicken, the chicken you were choking on. You were choking the chicken. <laughs> It was too spicy for you. Yeah, it really was, man. I just, I, I couldn't handle the spice. It was just getting at the back of my throat, you know? It's a little too much. As far as the food today, I think my favorite thing is probably going to be um, the shrimp and pork uh, wontons. wontons. Yeah. Yeah, the wontons. Yeah, those were really, really good. I really feel like that kind of put like, an, uh, like a, a closing statement on everything that we tried. Even though we had a couple things afterwards, I don't think it lived up to the hype when it came to everything else. I really think that the shrimp and pork wontons were like the like the sugar on like the cherry on top actually. Cherry on top even though it was nothing but salt and meat. Pause. Salty meat, you like salty meat. Here we go. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys did, make sure to slap that like button. Hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and let me know with a comment down below. Are you guys gonna be coming to the Lunar New Year event here at DCA? Yes or no? Let me know down below. If you guys are not following me on social media, everything's under I am Chris Rogers. If you guys are not following me on Twitch, that's also under I am Chris Rogers. If you guys are not following Debon, oh. his Instagram and his Twitch are also under at DJ Debon. Yes, the non headliner. But guys, with all that being said, we'll catch you on the Flippy Whippy. Flippy Whippy Whip. What? <laughs> We'll catch you guys on the flippy whippy. Flippy whippy. <laughs> Peace.